I've sailed my whole life. When I bought this boat, I wanted to move up to Little River and live on it. In turn, by doing that, I found, of course, Barefoot Church. And so I kind of think that, you know, God's got that plan. He kind of coaxed you along like, hey, you know, let's, let's go here, let's do this. And I felt that because I was asking for it. This was one thing I wanted was a good church home and a good simplistic way of living. And this, this did it for me, it really did. The first time I went to Barefoot, I kind of had a, an attitude of, okay, you got to sell this to me on the first hit or I'm not coming back. And I, it was kind of a bad way to look at it, but in the place in my life where I was, um, you know, starting over and, and doing something completely different, a new town, uh, hundreds of miles from where I was before, this being my 14th move, um, I just kind of felt, uh, I kind of felt a little hardened. When I got to Barefoot, I'd, I'd realized the atmosphere was was different than most that I've experienced, and um, it, it seemed to it seemed to speak to me in a way that you know no other church really had. Long story short, it became more of a family atmosphere for a good reason because people treated you, you know, at least the people I experienced, uh, they treated me like I belonged. And in my experience and, and life <laughs> life experiences in general, I've just it's not been a factor, not been used to that kind of uh, behavior from people. So uh, I think the church really cares and goes all out. And I thought, you know what, I think this might actually be the place. I noticed they had, a, of course, a, a film crew and they also had uh, still photography. And so I thought, well, those are the two areas I'm strong at. So I got connected with some people and decided that maybe I can do that while I'm here. There's little times, like a few seconds here and there, where you kind of look around and you see all the moving parts. Uh, one thing I noticed was you got one guy on the light board and then you got a whole nother guy over there on the sound board. And um, when you got your uh, headphones on, uh, you're talking with TriCast and you realize, you know, there's four to six people in an upstairs room watching TV cameras uh, or, t you know, TV cameras and they're, uh, they're working uh, the fade and they're working the double shots and, you know, they're making all this stuff happen on the screens and we make this thing work. I mean, it really does, and I think because of all these people working together, I, I think that's what kind of captured me in the beginning because we have people that care about the experience and they want you to feel like you have a place and you belong there for a reason. Regardless of age, uh, whether it's been a 15 year old or, or someone in their you know early 60s, is that when they come onto our team, we have good coaches, um, I've been one of those. Uh, where we, we do the best we can with what we work with, um, but I think that's what makes us uh, so much stronger. It's not something that we're gonna, you know, uh, look down and say, hey, you did this wrong. And we're gonna say, hey, let's do this a better way that works um, and come together as a team. And I think we're all planted in certain areas to help us grow. I think I needed more of that than I realized. I'm sure of that now because I found a church family. You know, I, there's people there that are passionate about what they do. and. You know, I told him when I first got there, I was like, hey, uh, you know, I may not be here, you know, so don't ex don't expect me to stick around because I'm, you know, I love moving to new places and everything seemed to kind of fall into place uh, when I got involved with the uh, volunteer work with the cameras. I feel like I'm just one grain of sand among many that's, that's making this experience good for people that are coming in with hardships or life altering decisions and, and they're able to help figure those out. When I joined the production team, I didn't think about it at first, but that was, I was doing something more than just filming or doing photography. It, it was, it was, it was working as that entire net system of all these people combined that are making this experience for the others that are coming after me that I experienced before them. If something I do contributes to them growing closer to God, then that's something I can feel good about the rest of my life.